IPOs are very different today than they used to be. I mean, if you go back, you know, to the 1970s, 1980s, or 1990s, the, the, the whole point of going public was you had a business that was a success. And you could tell it was a success because it made a good profit, right? And you proved out that your business worked. But you just wanted to scale it up and say, hey, I've got this great little business. It's making all this money. But if I had more money, I could like scale this thing, right? Like, let's say I have one, I have a restaurant. And maybe I opened up a dozen restaurants and they're killing it. Everybody loves these restaurants. I'm just, I got a, a whole new type of food and a sir. Everybody loves them. And I'm like, you know what? I got 10. What if I had a hundred? What if I had a thousand? Right. I mean, if I'm making so much money on these, so I was, how, but where am I going to get the money? I, I'm a small guy. I have 10 restaurants. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go public. Right. So I'm going to take my proven business model. Right. Right. That's making all this money. And then I'm going to get more money from investors so I can grow my business, scale it up, and these investors will be able to participate in the growth, right? So you needed the money to expand a profitable business, right? And yeah. take it, take it you, know, you know, bigger, nationally. You have a local business, you want to expand nationally. Here's how the IPO market is today. I raise a bunch of money from venture capitalists to yep. build out a business that doesn't make any money, but is already huge. It's already nationwide or it's global, right? So I've got this business that loses money and the losses yeah. are financed by these venture capitalists, right? And yeah. maybe I've been operating the, the business for five or 10 years and I still haven't made a nickel in profits, but the business is huge, right? It's got a multi-billion dollar valuation. I haven't even gone public. And then the IPO is basically the way the early investors cash out. They don't need the money. When these companies are going public, they don't need the money to expand the business. They've already maxed it out. They've got the revenue as, as high as they're going to go. They're just looking for a payday. That's their exit strategy. So at now, when you buy into an IPO, you're the, the potential bag holder that's letting all these guys who got in early get out. Meanwhile, they didn't even prove that the business model worked. You're buying it before it's ever even made a profit. So how do you know that it ever will made a profit if it didn't make one before you got in? So I, IPOs used to be a real good way for investors to get in on the ground floor of growing businesses that had already proven that they work, right? And now they're mm -hmm. just going to try to you know, take it on the road and, you know, and see if it works bigger. Right. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. But at least you are betting on a proven commodity and you're hoping the management team can take it to the next level. And the money was used not as an exit strategy. All the new money that came in stayed in the co corporate treasurers to grow the business. Now, when these companies go public, it's the VCs that are cashing out. They're just putting sure. the money in their pocket. So it's now just a casino. You're coming late to the party. You're overpaying. So most of these IPOs, you should just ignore them. And in fact, most of the IPOs have been done the last couple of years. Look at where they're trading. Even though they have a big pop on the first day and everybody's excited, when the dust settles, these things go down, right? And the only people that make money, maybe the people that are lucky enough to get them on the IPO because they've got a connection at the brokerage firm or they're a friend of family or something, and they got the stock and they sell it on the first day. And they, and they flip it and they get right out, right? So the, 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 the whole thing, Wall Street has completely corrupted the whole thing. But at the root of it is the Fed. It's all this cheap money. It's all this money printing. If the government hadn't corrupted the whole process, it would probably still be today the way it was in the past. Golly. Well, Peter.